Hello, everyone. I bring greetings to you from the New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where my pastor is none other than Pastor Lavina Johnson Smith. My name is Reverend Cynthia Gosley, and today I would just stop by for a couple of minutes in hopes to encourage someone and to lift up someone's spirit. So let me pray for just a moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you for this opportunity to speak life into the person who stopped by to just hear a word from you. So let he that have an ear hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say. In Jesus name I pray, amen, amen. So if I had to title this, it would be sometimes you have to encourage yourself. And I will be coming from Isaiah 40, verse 29 through 31. And it reads as such. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They should run and not be weary, and they should walk and not faint. You know, um, as I look around, and I don't have to look very far to see that there is adversity all around us. We are going through and dealing with obstacles that we have never had to deal with before. And some of us have begun to question God. You have begun to ask God, why? Why do we have to go through so much heartache and so much pain? While I may not have all of the answers to your why, what I do know is that God allows us to go through trials and tribulations to make us grow and to make us stronger. Our tests become our testimonies. Our storms and our valley lows are strategically designed to stretch us and eventually they will work out for your good. That's if you put your trust in God. You see, that's the definition of faith. Faith is believing in what we do not see. Our job is to trust God. His job is to show up. Just because we are children of the Most High God doesn't mean that we are exempt from having to go through any struggles. But while you are going through, you have to remember to speak over yourself, to encourage yourself, and to remind yourself that all things will work out for your good. I know it might not look like it when you're in the thick of it, but know this, God is working on your behalf and he is concerned with what concerns you. Whatever it is that you're going through, it will be for your good, but it'll be for the glory of God. He will give you the strength to push through your pain. So press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus God will work it out while you're still trying to figure it out. So hold on. Don't give up and don't give in. God knows what's best for you. And let me encourage you today to praise him while you're going through and see what the end might bring. Remember, faith is the place where our, where our sight fails. It is through this process of tra travailing that gives you power, Holy Ghost power. Tribulation is only an indication that you can overcome the situation. So hold on. You got this. Be blessed.